Hello, welcome to episode 19 of my trek down. This will be about my 10th time attempting to record this uh, this episode. Uh, for some reason, oh, just a concotney of uh, bad luck with this one. Um, either uh, corruption, lag, background noise, um, and of course, here comes the rain. I'm going to toggle this off. So that we can talk. And I'll bring you up to the speed of what I was doing in the other attempts to record this video that there is no video for. Anyways, I finished the landing pad. I started to work on the ship. I realized that um, I'm going to need a lot of iron. Of course, we knew that going in. And um, so I went ahead and I looked at the Akio, the builder, mod spotlight for mechanism 1.6, and I'm using it as a guide. Um, to do my ore processing right now. it's I've got the triple ore processing set up and I'm working on the uh, four times ore processing. This is what um, quartz looks like. I like the burned quartz. This is metallurgy and some other um, blocks. I cannot paint any of these. You can look at the top of the screen to see what they are. Just pause the video as I kind of pause by them. And, um, These ones we've seen before, these would be like tanks and internal walls. This is for building structures, and these are decorative, and these are all obsidian ones. Used chisel mod. Anyways, um, there's a problem with um, mobs right now. I don't know what the deal is. They're just running around in circles and not doing anything. So I turned them off while I'm at the base. Um, I'm going to try and sort it out. It's uh, It started happening after an update because Resident Rise updated three times in one week and some broke so I gotta figure out what it is I also f set up uh, 21 mist worlds um, of those I think only six that are actually good there's a couple that have liquids in them but I won't like uh, liquid molten uh, invar molten copper molten dark iron or that block I'm pointing at right there um, I won't be using any of those uh, again uh, episode one I said I wouldn't and I would do it the hard way and that is of course mining everything up and converting it by hand or well through the me mechanical process. Finding lakes of it is awesome. Don't get me wrong. It is awesome. It's really easy to convert it using Tinker's Construct to blocks and then from blocks to ingots but um, yeah. One of the worlds had end stone in it and I went ahead and uh, planted my nine interlilo abilities uh, bushes on it and I harvested them a couple of times and I needed uh, deep storage um, from mine factory reloaded and it required uh, liquid invar or excuse me liquid ender in order to make res or it's called resonant ender basically it's just and that was one of the episodes that I tried to record was me making making resonant ender and a resonant ender thing but anyways we made two of those and we take the ender pearls, we put them in this, and it converts them to juice and fill the buckets up. And we use the buckets to make these, these, uh, these, these ingots. Well, make these ingots. Well, <laughs> if I can say it right, uh, the buckets combined with pulverized shiny metal and tin dust make this stuff. And you put it in the induction smelter with pyrithium dust and you end up with those ingots and those ingots are needed to make that as well as the deep storage thing which now has 745 uh, essence berries in it. This is full of essence berries and that's full of essence berries. Yeah. Um, like I said I was using the Accio the Builder it has 1.6. I also made this but I don't have to use it. Um, mod spotlight on mechanism set up my mechanism system here um, this one I'm not using so I'll eventually tear it down just use it for spare parts but uh, this is the three times ore processor it's connected to a uh, really basic uh, build craft um, sorting system and these of course are uh, right now I have the, the um, Digital miner from Minecraft or from uh, 
mechanism on my mining age mining on silk touch. It's being powered by by uh, electrolytic super 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 separator here. Uh, about six of those feeding um, eight or nine um, uh, hydrogen engines to produce power for it. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna take that redstone because I want to show you something with that here in a second. Um, let me see what I've got. I haven't gotten much. I did run a quarry, a, a two chunk quarry for a bit, but um, I kind of bagged that until I until I had more time to set one up proper. I just wanted to see if this would all work, and I just needed something up temporary, and so I just set up a two chunk uh, regular quarry system, and it. The it, it can dump a lot of materials in here, so I had to put up these three redstone engines in order just to get them out of the ender chest. And that's another thing I used the ender pearls for. Is I made uh, several ender chests and a couple of tanks. Um, this system here requires brine, and brine. This is the four times ore doubling. Um, I put an ingot, or well, get down here. I put a stack of copper in the hopper. The hopper fed it in the machine. The machine had um, whatever this chemical is that's produced by this machine in combination with this machine. And it processed one, one, one block into four ingots. This is just a test of this system here before I added this system. So don't. Anyways, what it is, the mechanism requires um, brine for this and you have to build these really tall 18 block superstructures or multi-block structures um, in order to turn water into brine and uh, you have to build them out in the desert so I built it over there at my village <laughs> excuse me I know that's disgusting I apologize I'm still fighting a cold but um, I've had these things going for like six hours now and um, these tanks are pretty much full when I fired this baby up and it pumps brine into the electric leak super super in it uh, basically it, this fills up and then it breaks it into hydrogen and chlorine the hydrogen gets pumped out over here into this and the chlorine gets pumped into this side of it and this fills up with chlorine this fills up with the other stuff and it produces the chemical that uh, in the metal that gets pumped out over to here in theory <laughs> in theory um, you see they all have a little bit of brine in them. I'm still sorting this system out. I, I, I'm sure I did something wrong here. I'll have to figure it out. But e, well, that's something for later. Um, Akio also pointed out that if you pulverize redstone blocks, the ore itself, if you just pulverize this, you run a chance of getting um, a really nice um, side effect. It's called cinnabar this stuff and this is I look at how much redstone I've got yeah I'm gonna have to start converting it into blocks here real soon anyways use the cinnabar and get a quite a bit of it in connection with the uh, induction smelter and you run a chance and invar or ferrous oil which of course gets turned into ferrous ingots but you run a chance of getting shiny ingots and of course shiny ingots ground up provides you with material you need to to make the resident uh, ingots for, for everything in thermal expansion. Excuse me for a second while I clear my uh, sinuses. It's going to be a sec. And I'm back. I apologize. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see the war room here is kind of getting filled up. I did make some of these these things. They, yeah, I tell you, these things are real involved. Um, that's what I love about mechanism is so involved. I, I set up a whole bunch of uh, crafting tables and stuff like that, which are needed for this is how you make pyrithium dust, um, which are needed for because uh, you'd have to make like several different parts and everything else. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel for the sake of time over to the village and show you what that looks like. I spent some time over here at the village and I put a uh, a barrier around it to keep the mobs out of here and then the mobs started acting funky so all that time for nothing. I also cleaned up the village quite a bit put doors on it so they'll breed. I have a chunk loader over here but these things are the desalinators and it takes them for 
forever to do their to do their job and if I can fly without missing it. Anyways, in the desert, it looks like it's not getting the multiplier, which um, I figured it would given this is a desert biome. Let's verify this is a desert biome real quick here. I think it's F3. Uh, yeah, this is a desert biome. But um, maybe it has to have the modifier when the sun is up. But um, this is an 18 tall structure. You have to have these these things. And these are what took the time to make because um, it requires a lot of parts to make these. But these are pretty nice. I think I'll make some more of them just for just for giggles and stuff. Eventually this one will be moved back and be in par with this one and it'll also be producing brine as well. But this is the smallest one. That's the biggest one according to Akio. And these um, transfer nodes or extra utilities and that's an aqueous accumulator. These have uh, 19. I think they're supposed to have 18 but um, these mining upgrades and speed upgrades in order to keep this thing full of water. Without it, it basically it'll outproduce it. And of course, um, over here, it pulls it out and puts it in here. And the reason I don't think it's working right now is it's dark. So, you know, it only works during the day. Anyways, um, this is where the brine comes out, and then of course it gets transferred. Uh, I'm just seeing, gets transferred over to the base over there. Um, I've got some gems down. I'm thinking I might start doing some trading with some of these these lovely uh, villagers here. But um, they really they want coins. And I, I haven't figured out how to do the coin thing yet. I remember trying it once before. Ooh, landmines. Ooh, I want those. Um, and it crashed my system. It corrupted my world. And chunks would just randomly reset. That is a real pain in the ass. Lost a lot of really good stuff when that happened but yeah I went through the village and cleaned up the village a little bit in preparation for uh, these these things being here um, I'm again I'm gonna fast travel back to the base actually I'll fast travel back to the spawn point I mark my uh, nodes just so when I find them when I start thumbcraft I'll be able to go right to them and scan them with the scanner thing that thumbcraft has I also set up an endothermic pump in the nether for lava, so I have a continuous lava source for the base. The base will run off of lava, the ship will again run off of a reactor, and um, um, compression dynamos, which will be fed by uh, fuel, which will be converted, or oil, which will be converted to fuel, and or pyrethium. I haven't decided yet. I think I might go with pyrethium fuel combinations and stuff, but the nice thing about this big open area down here is there's another big open area below it and I can do all sorts of stuff. I can put a reactor down there and shield it and yeah I'm pretty excited. Um, hopefully by next episode I will have this here, um, the bottom of it all laid out and most likely um, start on the sides. These things here are um, extra utility uh, chandeliers and again you saw the recipe down there below where you take chandeliers combine them with some uh, um, enchant enchanted uh, potions and they make uh, magnum torches and the magnum torches uh, really are the most effective way to keep mobs away I thought maybe these were causing the mobs to act weird but they weren't so but um, I'd like to show you the mist worlds um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record another episode because um, in the last episode I tried to record we went into a mist world together and it was an island and we found a floating um, huge, huge in um, nether base and I wanted to explore that and uh, it was just basically floating in the middle of nowhere and the reason I wanted to keep that age is because it's, it's a void age with a nice little island and be a good place to export our ship to Anyways, I appreciate you watching, and with any luck, um, this video will be the final attempt to record episode 19. And this is where I put my little uh, captured uh, squid so I could get ink, so I could make these books. Um, and I'll go ahead and record that special exploration video, and I may or may not upload that when I have time. It's just for one of those bonus episodes. Anyways, I'll see you on episode 20, and thank you very much for watching.